Woman of the House of Love. I thought this was a masterclass in creating atmosphere and tone. Uh, and I think they did that so effectively through the soundscape and sound design. Uh, the silences, except for the very eerie, dissonant music track of light tinkling bells or deep chords, uh, was excellent in creating that mood and atmosphere. The romance and the storytelling through the narration was also a really effective guide through this spooky house of love and it had that interesting juxtaposition between love and romance and the eerie um where you're like i feel uncomfortable in this as well uh so i thought it was quite brilliantly done the lady of the house of love was so successful in having a very focused vision it was very specific it was highly stylized and i think the filmmaker has a very clear voice and I think the dark tones and the eerie uh, mood of it sort of exemplified the desperation and the horror behind our desires. And I think it was successfully executed. I really like the visuals in The Lady of the House of Love. Um, I just really enjoy the attention to detail and the thought um, and the props and the costumes and the lighting just all the visuals together, I think, were, were really great and created the ambience and, and the vibrance of the story. I was really curious to know more about the main character's story and the young man who was, who was going there. Was he one of many? Was he your first one? What was the backstory? How did she end up in the house? I was really, really curious about all of that. Um, and I think visually it, it sparked that curiosity. So I think it, it did a good job with it. This reminded me of like almost like the the style and the the vibe about it for lack of a better word reminded me almost of like vampires obviously but more like interview with a vampire and less like your modern day vampires that have been um coming out more and more and more um i thought it was really interesting and really really stylized and really really uh like almost placed like not almost but like placed in a different century obviously but really just kind of ran with that and let that kind of guide what like what time frame they were placing it in let that guide everything and I thought that was a really interesting choice and I really enjoyed it I thought it was really like I said really intriguing and really just kind of like dark but not in a bad way and um I loved the use of the color and the light and the candles, especially towards the end. I thought that was really well done as well. The Lady of the House of Love really showed a, like, you know, a really interesting uh, vampire story. Um, the music was, you know, very interesting, very good. Um, the performances, you know, they, they, they all, you know, looked very good and played it very well. It was an interesting take on vampires. Um, nice short simple story but you know not much dialogue either but you still get pretty much what's going on and it's done done well uh this one had a very clear sense of mood and tone it was very uh moody throughout and the tone was quite consistent i really enjoyed that uh the lead performances once again with dialogue that was quite minimal were strong throughout uh the costume and set design uh as well as the makeup all stood out here which is something that I haven't seen a lot of with this group of films. Uh, this It made this one stand out, and in a good way, it was quite distinct in that regard. Uh, I also really admire some of the lighting choices that were made here, using uh, in-universe lighting to convincingly uh, light these scenes. I don't know if that was done entirely with uh, just things they had on set taking place in the scene, or if they enhance it with additional lighting, but either way, this film looks great. And I thought that it was uh, very consistent, very enjoyable, uh, quite thought-provoking. I thought this film was a very good depiction of um, horror, first and foremost. The tone right off the bat was, um, I was kind of really anxiety-ridden throughout the whole thing. I thought that the cinematography and the color was really well done in particular. Um, and I really enjoyed the story, most of all, I would say. Um, I like how vague it is and how open to, into inter uh, interpretation it is. But I would say that what I took from it was um, sort of a commentary on how um, we view virginity in this society. Um, we like to like to you know save sex for marriage if you're viewing it through a sacred lens, 
and then as soon as your virginity is taken, you need to be married and stay with the same partner for the rest of your life. Um, we also kind of view um, having multiple partners or losing your virginity as something that makes you almost dirty in a way if you've slept with multiple people or sort of have been with multiple partners. Um, I think that kind of showcases how ridiculous that notion can be sometimes because she dies after um, she barely even kisses the man. Um, so I would say that this is a really good commentary on how we view sex as a, as a society and a really good showcase of horror. All right, I just finished watching The Lady of the House of Love, which is a very stylish and moody, sort of horror gothic um, set around a female vampire who uh, normally is feeding on a variety of gentlemen callers, but in this situation runs into one that she feels actual feelings for. This is a really well done in terms of uh, the visual motives and being able to tell a story with uh, minimal dialogue. There is some um, voiceover narration type uh, that plays out, but most of it is sort of about um, capturing the loneliness and um, the quiet misery this a woman is going through living this existence and seeing how it's changed now that this young man has come into it. There's a creepy vibe that um, consistently works for me, and there's a general um, uh, uh, keen eye camera work wise in terms of the direction crafting of the scene cinematography is consistently very strong and the closing images of the dress and the flowers um have give a really evocative um feelings that i feel like really help provide a story that doesn't have a huge plot have a lot of depth so in general this um piece really worked for me